Let's go. I got the juice. juice. New AP. She got the juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Friday. Dr. Dre's daughter has launched a GoFundMe campaign. Last week, Latanya Young, Dr. Dre's 38 year old daughter, revealed that she's homeless. Social media immediately attacked Dre, urging him to financially help out his daughter, considering the fact that he is worth an estimated $800 million. However, he is、uh, allegedly ignoring his daughter's request. Latanya's been working for Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I'm going to keep saying the word allegedly, has not seen her father in over 18 years. She is allegedly living out of a rental car in California. She also allegedly admitted that she doesn't even have her father's phone number and is forced to communicate with him through his. Team. Her four children have also never met their grandfather. She noted that they are staying with friends. They are not living in, their, in her car with her. It's just her. And she also said that, according、uh, to her, Dr. Dre's lawyers told her that he does not want to help her. It sounds like there's a lot more to this story. So far,、uh, the GoFundMe page has raised $305 of her $50,000 goal. Speaking of children, Eminem's adopted child, who now goes by Stevie, has come out as non binary.、Uh, the child announced that they are non binary in a TikTok video, showing them becoming more comfortable with themselves in recent months and revealing their new name, Stevie. The 19 year old was formerly known as Whitney. They will be using the name Stevie from now on, and they identify with they, she, he pronouns.、Uh, Eminem adopted Stevie in 2005. Previously, Stevie had posted videos about how uncomfortable they felt with working. Rather, with the world knowing that their Eminem's adopted child revealing some of the insecurities. And a few years ago, Stevie actually revealed that they are bisexual and began using the she, they pronouns.、Uh, Adidas is given up on Reebok. That's right, it's a wrap. Adidas bought Reebok, a Reebok rather, back in 2006 for $3.8 billion. Now, at the time, Adidas had hopes of turning Reebok's fortunes around and turning them into probably, hopefully, one of the most profitable. Sportswear giants in the world, but now they're throwing in the towel. In a new report, Reebok will be sold to Authentic Brands Group, ABG, early next year for $2.5 billion, which means that Adidas has taken a loss here $1.3 billion. That's a huge deal, though, of course, for both sides because Reebok's. We'll now have to deal with new ownership, and a change like this could lead to some massive overhaul. So it's going to be interesting to say, see how Reebok develops moving forward, and hopefully some people don't lose their jobs. Barack celebrated his birthday last weekend. That's right, the Obamas had a nice little bash in、uh, Martha's Vineyard, and Erica Badu gave us a sneak peek at the celebrations on her social media. Although there was reportedly no photography, there was a rule that was set in place. For guests, Erica broke protocol. Not kind of、uh, shocked at that. She posted a short clip of herself with some other guests in the background, including、uh, the former president holding a microphone, doing his little two step on stage before he gave the artist her a hug. Now, Erica had. Deleted the post, but obviously, you know, when you put something out there and they're all over it, the internet had already taken screenshots and recorded and shared it.、Uh, so, yesterday, Erica issued a formal apology to the Obamas via Twitter. And she said, Mr. and Mrs. Obama, please forgive me for being the terrible guest at such a sacred event for your family. I was so inconsiderate. Thank you for all your love. What an example of how not to be signed, Erica. <laughs> I love her. And that's your juicy entertainment news for Friday. Make sure you lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice. And you know I had to do it. Oh, yeah. Some Erica Badu for you. Turn it up and feel the music.